Hey, we're going to check in with our primetime team, find out what they're working on for tonight. Ricky Ratliff, she's going to start us off. Karen, if you live anywhere in the northeast of North America, you would not have to look hard to find Nemo. It's outside with our three foot high uh, snow plow mountains, but you also wouldn't have to look hard to find people who are trying to blame snow and winter time on global warming. We'll talk about that tonight on The Source. As well, some interesting numbers um, out with a new poll in Quebec. Do you think Quebecers support uh, oil exploration or sovereignty more? We'll tell you those figures tonight um, on The Source as well. Um, there are reports there's a, out that the government of Alberta has given taxpayers money to Islamists. Now, uh, we're talking radical Islamists, not those who follow the peaceful re religion of Islam, but uh, a radical Islamists will trace the trail of where that leads and uh, how that could even happen without someone being held accountable. Um, and then Ezra tonight has got a monologue on how the left is fighting for politically correct currency. Um, they're all in a fury because uh, the right minorities or the left minorities aren't on new political currency. Sorry. It's not even political currency, it's just dollar bills. So why is it becoming political? We'll tell you all about that tonight on The Source. Yeah, you piqued my interest on that one. Thank mm -hmm. you, I'll be watching. Okay, we're gonna go to Winnipeg next. We'll check in with Charles Adler. Thanks, Karen. On tonight's show, fat shamers. They're fat shaming Chris Christie and Rob Ford. Instead of attacking their policies, they're attacking girth. We've got much more coming up tonight with David Martosco, who'll also weigh in on the State of the Union and the changes in the Vatican. Also, Martha Hall Finley, she's running for the liberal leadership. She's right on when it comes to supply management, and she is right off her bleep when it comes to justice. All that and much more coming up tonight, right here. Charles, thank you. Robert Gibson is with us next. What are you working on for Byline? Of course, we'll be talking about the Pope's unexpected resignation tonight. I don't know if you're going to get a better better show to watch, in fact, to get the real story of what's going on here, and uh, not just some, like, deal with it just because, oh, it's in the news, let's you know, kind of glaze over it. We're going to really get into it uh, and definitely show you guys want to watch. And also a story we've been following for a long time. It's a Sun News victory, if you will. Ian Thompson, mm -hmm. he's done with the whole mess. Basically, his house was firebombed by neighbors and a bunch of thugs who hang out with neighbors. He was the guy. He shoots warning shots over them. Get off my property. He's the guy with the biggest lawyer bills. He's the guy who got dragged through the courts. Um, so there's an update to that story and a very good one for our loyal viewers. So uh, that's tonight at 9. Sun News Victory. Yes, I love those. Throw party. Okay, thank Sorry. you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Karen. Byline tonight. All right, let's find out what's going on for the battleground this evening. We'll check in in Ottawa. Well, on Battleground, of course, we are all about races, and we have a new race to start covering tonight. The race to become the next Pope. That's right, Battleground, the Rome edition. We'll be kicking that off tonight with our own Brian Lilly. He's going to handicap the race for us. There's a Canadian who might win this thing, and that's why we're going to pay a lot of attention to it tonight. Also, Battleground Ontario got a new cabinet, got a new premier. What does it all mean? David Coletta was by with some new poll numbers for Ontario. And, of course, we'll check in on the latest Battleground BC stuff. New ad from Christy Clark. All that and much more tonight. Stick around. And last but not least, Michael Korn is with me now. Tell me what you're working on for the arena. Surprise, surprise. Well, we had to change the show, obviously, talking about the Pope's resignation. My monologue will be about that. Um, I mean, I, it is one of my subjects. I wrote the, the best-selling book, Why Catholics Are Right. And um, so our, our, our first guest, Peter Stockland, who, was editor, who is editor of Convivium magazine and a leading Catholic, who I suspect knows Cardinal Ouellette, who is one of the names being mm -hmm. put forward uh, as possible success. So, so we'll talk about that. Uh, but lots of other issues too. Uh, a very funny gathering at York University. Uh, sublime to the ridiculous. These idiots calling for cops off campus. They want to introduce, uh, forgive me, a masturbation bar. I don't know what that is. I don't want to find out, but you know. And uh, so anyway, we're going to talk to, uh, to someone about that. Declan Hill, the expert on corruption in soccer. Happens to be a Canadian. Lovely uh -huh. guy. He's going to do an interview with us about what was going on with, with all of that. Uh, and also we have Chris Sims, who's talking about gun control and gun issues. You're a man in demand today, Michael mm, Horn. Yes, yes. I haven't had my coffee yet. N not even. Too busy, yeah. Michael, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, don't go away. We've got plenty more coming right up on Right Now.